this is an exploratory analysis as of a subgroup of patients that were included in the MINDACT study, uh, which was a phase three study, uh, included overall 6,693 patients and has concluded and reported results last year. Uh, this analysis, um, in fact, looked at the outcome of patients with small tumors, meaning less than one centimeter, node negative breast cancer. The striking finding of this analysis, the first striking finding was that we identified 24% of these patients, of these tumors, that they have an aggressive biology based on the 70th gene signature. These tumors, usually they are considered to be of low risk, of low uh, clinical risk, and thus in the past they were excluded from adjuvant chemotherapy trials. This was the first striking event let's say finding because we identified that the biology of these tumors is aggressive and we should not consider all of these tumors innocent. The next finding of this work was that we compared the outcome results of those patients that they have discordant findings uh, between the clinical risk assessment which was done per modified version of adjuvant online, as in the main MINDACT study, and the genomic risk assessment. Those patients that they had discordant results and received chemotherapy, it seems that they went better than those that did not receive chemotherapy. Of course, I, I need here to add that this analysis was an exploratory analysis. The, sample, the whole sample size was 826 patients. Uh, so you can understand that we are talking about small number of patients, small number of events, and hence an underpowered analysis. However, we got a signal of the clinical utility of the 70 gene signature in identifying more aggressive tumors within the whole subset of these subcentimetric node negative breast cancers. Of course, we have to repeat the fact that the, the, the analysis was exploratory and we cannot extrapolate robust conclusions based on this analysis for the clinical practice. Uh, we have to stick on the classical uh, ways of defining adjuvant chemotherapy administration in early breast cancer, taking into account all the clinical parameters meaning the age of the patients, the performance status of the patient, the tumor characteristics, the ER status here, two node positivity or negativity, the grade of the tumor, all this should be taken into account. The genomic test could provide an additional information in cases that are in the gray zone of our decision. So I would say that the decision should be a case by case discussion with the patient and of course taking into account the patient preferences. The fact that um, the MINDACT study overall was um, a, a huge uh, effort to be conducted and completed successfully. So I, 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 we should be grateful to the two organizations, ERTC and BIG, uh, that supported uh, the study and conducted the study. And of course to all our academic partners that uh, contributed and believed in the concept uh, and of course, m many, many thanks to the patients and their families that supported the general idea.